Hey, Arrows fans, as we enter week eight of the MLR 2021 season, we are lucky enough to be joined by Lucas Rumble for a few questions. Lucas, how are you doing? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me on. No, it's, it's a true pleasure. And so let's get right into it. As we said, we're entering week eight of the MLR 2021 season. How have you guys felt about the season so far as a team? Uh, you know, we've had our ups and downs this year so far. I, I think that was expected, uh, you know, with uprooting your life and, and moving it to a different country. Um, but, you know, we're, we're, we've been trending in the right directions the past few weeks, and hopefully we can keep getting more consistent and uh, just put more quality out there throughout the full 80 minutes instead of taking lapses here or there. And I, I think we'll, we'll put together the right, uh, you know, recipe to make that happen this weekend. 100%. And I mean, you look at some of the games like Seattle and Rugby United New York, you guys are definitely getting your groove now. Um, playing away is never easy, and you guys have been doing that all season. How have you guys as a team cope? But more importantly, as a captain, how do you keep the team motivated? Uh, it's obviously different than, you know, being at home where you can go home, speak to a significant other, family, friends. You have all those things to take rugby off your mind. and take you away from the environment. And that's a good thing sometimes to be out of the environment. Here in Atlanta, we're all, we're all together. We're all, you know, in each other's face a lot. And you see everyone in there, coaches, staff, players, in the elevator on the way to and from your room when it's not even a rugby day. So it's tough, but the boys and the staff are, are really good about, you know, picking each other up, making sure we're okay, making sure we're getting that time away so we can really refocus on the stuff that we need to on, you know, playing good rugby. Um, and the boys would be the answer to that. You know, they just keep each other in check and without each other, there's no way we can go forward. Yeah, and, and it seems like the chemistry is not only strong, you know, off the field, but uh, on the field as well. Now we're gonna get into some fun questions here, Lucas. Now, every player has a dream play, right? Whether it's a big tackle, um, a game winning try, what would you say is Lucas Rumble's dream play? Uh, it would have to be a combination of those two. It would be a game-saving tackle or even a game-saving okay. turnover would, would fit into that. Um, you know, maybe pushing someone out of bounds to end the game while they're pressing in our red zone or hold them up to, you know, end it, something like that, or, you know, a last-ditch effort to make the tackle. Okay. Close second would have to be a, a drop goal winner, but I, I don't know if I have, uh, <laughs> you know, the fortitude to take that myself. <laughs> if I miss, I'd be in a hell of a lot of trouble. So as of right now, it's fair to say that Lucas Rumble's uh, dream play would be a great poach, quick turnover against Seattle, and he's running the full pitch to score the last minute try. Something like that would be ideal, yeah. <laughs> great, great. And now, if you were stuck in an island, Lucas, uh, what, would, what would be the three items that you would bring and why? Um, so the first item I'd bring would be whatever Ben's bookshelf. It's, uh, you know, Ben Lesage has a book uh, reviewing Instagram page, whatever his latest book okay. is, you know, he's, he's, he's on top of it. He knows his stuff. So that would get me through a lot of those dull moments. Uh, secondly, would be some sort of fire starting system, whether it's uh, flint and steel or, you know, something to give me that ability to start fires. And the uh, third would be some sort of machete, something to cut down trees, you know, open coconuts or do whatever I need to do to survive. That's that's our captain right there. Always useful. Thank you so much, Lucas, for joining us. We wish you the best of luck against Rugby Atlanta this weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.